The playoffs are on the horizon for Chicago Robinson. With his team sitting at 8-4 with a two-game lead, they can clinch the division this episode, but they have to win three of their last four games. First and 10, opening up against the Steelers on the road. First pass is knocked incomplete, bringing up a third and nine. Armstrong in motion. Robinson back to throw. He's going to check down and connect with him, but he will be short. So first drive is a three and out. Play action to the rookie back, Mays. Robinson rolling out incomplete as he is off to a not so great start this game going right side and Cooley has it for a first down as right around midfield Robinson back to throw completes it to Armstrong again for a first and that slant route has been dangerous in this offense all years now Robinson gets it off in time across field to Winfield as he would pick up the first down first and 10 pressure coming from the left. Robinson to the right side as that would set up second and one back to throw scrambling he's gonna break one tackle here he has the first down breaking another one just short as on first and goal from the three rolling out to the right he's gonna stop and throw across his body and Scaife has it some hell held on to that for a touchdown and Washington would go up 7-3 to three here in the fourth quarter as they're looking to tack on to this lead. Hand off to Mays again after picking up a first down last play. He will do that again. Down inside the 15, Robinson back to throw, and that's completed to Winfield for a touchdown. So Washington would go up 14-3, to three, and after kneeling the clock out, they would walk away with a victory here over Pittsburgh as they take this one with a final score of 14 to 3. And Chicago Robinson would be named your player of the game. So that win over the Steelers gives us only two to go. And the second place Eagles lost last week too. So that should make clinching the division that much easier for us. As our next challenge was against a very solid Bengals team. But we were at home so hopefully that would help us. Starting with the ball here just over three minutes to go in the first quarter hand off to Mays as the rookie running back has started to become even more productive for us here in the second half of the season as now his backup terrain is in and he's going to take this for a first down but both him and Winfield have been amazing assets for us on offense this year as both rookies have really been performing on third and three now Robinson is going to be sacked and we would not put up any points on that possession and finally speaking of Winfield he would come down with the first catch this game as it took us until the second quarter to get our first completion backed up to a third and 13 now pressure screaming off the end here that pass would get off just in time but we would move to the second half. And it is still a tied 0-0 ball game here as we haven't been able to get anything going on offense. Looking to change though here is on third and two. Robinson back to throw that completes to Winfield. First and 10 inside Cincinnati territory. Robinson back to throw. Left side, Cooley has it for a first down and more. As he would be pushed out of bounds at the 29 yard line. Robinson back to throw to the end zone. Hankerson has it. And finally, we would put some points on the board here at home. We would go up 14 to 7 after a defensive touchdown from the squad as down to the 11 yard line play action to Mays Robinson gets it off in time Armstrong with a diving catch and that would secure the win for us here at home as we would take this one 21 to 14 over the Cincinnati Bengals and this may be our toughest game yet with a two game lead on Philadelphia and only two games left in the year if we can defeat the six and eight Browns this week we will clinch our division and make the playoffs starting with the ball here in the second quarter Robinson would check down to Winfield for a first down defense had a hard time getting the Browns off the field in the first quarter so we have a short clock to work with as we are down three to nothing here Robinson back to throw again checking down to Mays out of the backfield he would have the first down down to the Cleveland 20 Robinson rolling out to the right on the run Hankerson has it inside the five. Second and goal from the two handoff to Mays and the rookie back would find his way in we would go up seven to three looking to put some points on the board here before half that would fall incomplete Robinson looking to redeem himself though deep down the right seam that's completed to Banks and on second and goal with 15 seconds left Armstrong would fight into the end zone and we would head to the second half up 14 to 3 over Cleveland as Robinson is going to be sacked here but we would find ourselves down near the end zone later in the quarter and that's going to be intercepted a poor throw there from Robinson but a chance to redeem himself rolling to the right Armstrong has it and that would be his second touchdown of the game 
as we would go up 21 to 10. First and 10 from the 13. Robinson now looking. Winfield has it and the rookie scores. And all we would have to do left is take a knee and we would win this one against the Browns 28 to 17. As boys, we have finally completed our goal for this season. And with that win, we have clinched the NFC East division. So now let's hop into the season two finale as we close things out here at home against Tampa Bay. First and 10, just under a minute to go here. First getting the ball in the first quarter. Second and seven after that three yard completion across the middle, Winfield has it. And the rookie would pick up the first down as we move to the second quarter. Third and eight, Robinson right side. He connects with Armstrong. Moving into Tampa Bay territory, handoff to Terrain as he's gonna take this up the middle. And it's worth noted that Terrain will be our primary running back as Ramon Mays is out with a herniated disc for 10 weeks. So unfortunately, this playoff run, we will not have our star rookie running back, but Terrain there stepping up perfectly for him as he would get our first touchdown of the day, but Tampa Bay would tie it up at seven as we would go down here in the second half looking to try to take the lead back. Terrain with another reception, setting up third and four. Robinson right side, that's knocked incomplete. First and 10, play action to Terrain. Robinson going deep left side, that's completed to the rookie Winfield. He would find his way in for a touchdown and we would go up 14 to seven over the the Buccaneers here as Winfield would pull down another reception there first and 10 pressure coming Robinson goes down that's one sack backed up to a second and 19 make that two sacks third and 24 they need a big play here but that's gonna be three sacks and we would end up going to overtime here but we would win on a 66 yard punt return for a touchdown against the Buccaneers. And that is how our season would end a walk off overtime win against the Buccaneers. So with that win, we would clinch the number one seed in the NFC at 12 and four. Robinson capped off a great sophomore season with only one interception. And our two rookies, Ramon Mays and Jared Winfield had great seasons as well. Be sure to tune into the next episode as we see if Chicago Robinson can take this team and win the Super Bowl.